okay hello friends i am george makwana and uh, welcome to jj's classroom in this third part of unit number 4 that is the microscopic techniques okay that is the continuing uh, lecture of the last one the part 2 uh, in part 2 i am discuss with you the scanning electron microscopy as well as the electron probe microscopy technique now in today's lecture the rest of the two technique that is the scanning tunneling microscopy as well as Uh, the atomic force microscopy i am going to discuss with you those two technique in brief uh, so discussing brief about the atomic force microscopy technique that is the long question weightage of the question is 6 marks uh, the efm is based on the measurement of different forces okay that is uh, attractive forces repulsive magnetic electrostatic van der waals uh, between a sharp tip and the sample surface the imaging that means imaging that means the uh, generation of image of a specimen surface of the specimen so that uh, imaging is accomplished by measuring the interaction force by means of the deflection of a soft cantilever while raster scanning the tip across the surface the signal generation in afm is essentially based on interatomic repulsive forces which are of extreme short range nature okay so here are some words that are already discussed in the part 1 in short question what is the cantilever okay how it works and that cantilever okay that is a soft portion uh, at the end of cantilever one tip a sharp tip is there uh, the cantilever is uh, in such a way that uh, when the tip of that uh, metal tip is when or uh, interaction with uh, the sur surface sample it deflect it okay it uh, uh, dislodge up and down it depends on the force the, between the surface and the tip that is if force of attraction is there then the cantilever is dis uh, dislodged towards the surface if there was a force of repulsion then the uh, cantilever and the tip is dis uh, dislodge away from the surface that means in a upward direction okay uh, generally interatomic repulsive forces are responsible in afm uh, the signal that are measured in afm that are in a image form that is called imaging of the surface uh, okay now the long range forces that means the coulombic forces between the charge dipole dipole interaction polarization forces uh, van der waal those are the example of long, long range forces coulombic force uh, dipole dipole interaction the polarization forces van der waals dispersion forces capillary forces or uh, due to the uh, adsorbent films between tip and the substrate now both type of forces contribute to the total force acting on the probing tip only the varying repulsive interatomic force allow allows high resolution imaging of the surface okay that is only uh, imaging of the surface is here no uh, more information about the morphology of surface can be obtained here because here the tip and the surface are not interact with each other directly and they are not in contact with each other uh, because of its extreme short range nature since long range attractive forces pull the tip towards the sample okay as i told you earlier uh, a sample surface they give rise to increase in the local repulsive forces which can uh, deteriorate the experimental conditions the interaction between tip and sample can be described by force distance curves okay that means the uh, i already discussed in part 1 that is the uh, graph or curve between on y axis that was a force and on z axis sorry in x axis that was a distance if uh, on x axis there was a distance then on y axis that was the force okay the force distance curve are uh, monitored uh the large separation there is no interaction and the observed force is zero now afm can be operated in two different modes as a uh, sam is operated in a uh, three different mode that is the emission mode luminescent mode and the conductive mode as i discussed in part 2 uh, afm is uh, operated in two different mode one is a constant force mode another is a constant height mode in a constant force mode that is 
कांस्टेंट फोर्स मोर द कैंटी लीवर डिफ्लेक्शन एंड हैंस द फोर्स इज कैप्ट कांस्टेंट बाय री एडजस्टिंग द सैंपल इन द वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन to flow the topographic features of the surface that means in a constant force mode it's like the uh, it's like the tip okay the as you can see uh, the surface of my mobile and my pen if uh, that pen is your uh, metal tip okay that is your probe then the probe is fixed for a constant force and the surface is more like that okay that means it is a horizontal scanning like this uh, uh, the sample is move uh, like in uh, x direction then in original position then the sample is move uh, horizontally uh, towards some uh, direction like this the scanning is continue okay it's like this move down the scanning original position then further move down scanning is running original that means the whole surface is scanned like this okay uh, that pattern of scanning is known as a raster scanning okay in uh, sam in stm in epm in afm the scanning of sample the pattern is same the raster scanning pattern is used though some concept and the fundamentals are different so that means in constant uh, force mode the tip is fixed and the surface of the sample is movable Uh, now in this mode comparatively large and rough sample area can be imagined without destroying the tip of the sample surface above okay sometime what happened there was a strong force of attraction between the tip and the surfaces there uh, uh, then uh, if the tip is in contact with the, those rough areas uh, there was a chance of damage of the uh, cantilever as well as dam damage of the tip is possible so here in uh, that constant force mode when the tip is constant uh your uh, sample okay the surface is uh, adjusted the uh, surface is adjusted according to the rough surface area and that's why the tip may not be destroyed also sample surface is also not destroyed now in a constant height mode uh, that is the vertical position of the sample is kept constant that means a uh, sample is now fixed the surface of the sample is fixed and uh, the tip okay the cantilever tip is move like this okay so that is called the constant height mode the vertical position of the sample is kept constant and the bearing deflection of the cantilever is recorded uh, in this mode higher scan rates can be achieved which is advantages for eliminating thermal drifts in higher resolution or uh, imagination but large scan sizes should be avoided because the tip crashes are possible when the tip is move vertically or uh, above the surface of the sample sometimes the tip may be damaged now instrumentation so in instrumentation of afm the following basic component can be identified that is a sharp tip mounted on a soft cantilever the cantilever is soft why because it uh, moves up and down that is dislodge up and down because of that is in must be soft in nature a detect detection system for measuring the deflection of the cantilever a uh, piezoelectric translator to move the probe uh, relative to the sample a uh, feedback system to keep the deflection constant by height readjustment of the probe an imaging system to convert the signal data uh, points into an image now the tip should be very sharp the tip should be very sharp with a small radius of curvature and a high aspect ratio so that it can trace fine uh, details on the surface the cantilever must be softened or uh, then the bonds between the atoms of the sample to achieve a measurable deflection without destructive the dis uh, displacement of the surface atom uh, commercially available cantilevers are usually made of silicon nitride or single crystal silicon the length of such cantilever is typically 100 to 200 micrometer the total size of the integrated tip is the order of 10 micrometer radius of curvature at the apex can be apex that means the uh, uh, that is the starting point of the uh, that uh, tip it's uh, small as 5 to 10 micrometer 
the force acting on the tip is uh, sensed by measuring the deflection of the cantilever usually in uh, atomic force microscopy the position of the tip is fixed and the sample is raster scan afm does not require a vacuum therefore it can be operated under ambient condition and allow uh, processes at solid gas and solid degree interfere also to be directly observed uh, the, that is the advantage of, advantage of afm and you must remember those data uh, applications of afm atomic resolutions can be achieved but imaging can also be performed on areas larger than 100 100 micrometer square this capability uh, allows overview image to be obtained which can be used to zoom in on details with high resolution without changing the sample or the instrument setup which would make it impossible to find the identical sample position again the fact that image contain direct depth information which makes the technique a valuable uh, metrological tool afm for for surface chemistry it capability to perform in situ measurement under liquids and in air this opens up the opportunity to directly investigate surface processes like corrosion crystal growth thin film deposition electrochemical process at electrode surfaces those are some applications uh, a disadvantage a disadvantage of afm is that chemical information or material specific properties cannot be obtained from afm image time uh, however a number of afm related techniques which allow information to be uh, assessed in uh, additional to the topography have been introduced so those are uh, information about the Uh, AFM that is the diagram of instrumentation of uh, uh, AFM that is uh, I'm talking about that is the deflection sensors that is a tip of cantilever uh, that is the tip that is the uh, oscillator piezo crystals are there a uh, piezo that means it uh, uh, memorize the uh, so, uh, information data okay it uh, memorize those data uh, that are uh, recorded by the tip of particular uh, cantilever tip okay uh, so when uh, those tip okay look at here uh, that is the cantilever that is the tip when uh, that is the surface of the uh, uh, specimen uh, if there was a force of attraction then the tip is move in a downward direction so that uh, dislodge that displacement of the tip is recorded here in a piezo crystal that means it uh, memorize those, those deflections and then uh, those information are forward to the detector okay in uh, many other forms that is uh, the function of that piezo crystal it summarize it memorize those deflections of the cantilever tip okay uh, if there was a force of repulsion then the tip is move in a upward direction so that is uh, the starting portion of that particular afm cantilever tip and so on uh, that is the basic instrumentation of afm split that is a photodiode detector that is the mirror cantilever uh, that is the scanner mirror is there laser beams are there prism filters okay some knobs are there photodiode adjusting knobs are there so that is all about uh, atomic force microscopy okay then the next one that is the uh, scanning tunneling microscopic stm uh, the questions like write a note on stm discuss in brief about instrumentation of stm uh, the modes of operating and the applications uh, first that is the principle of uh, the principle of stm stm the probe is soft metal tip that is scan across a conducting surface that means the limitation of stm uh, your uh, specimen the sample surface must be conducting in nature conducting surface at the distance on the order of typically uh, some nanometers a bias voltage of typically a few millivolts is applied between the tip and the sample that means uh, between the tip and the sample surface some bias voltage are applied okay and and because of when you apply the voltage between the uh, sample tip and the surface what happened there was uh, the electrons on the surface uh, the, that means the uh, electrons that are present on the atoms Uh, uh, situated at the surface 
those electrons are moved from unoccupied level to the uh, highly occupied levels and because of that reason there was uh, some current is produced on the surface and that is uh, that current is known as the tunneling current okay i uh, already discussed that in a short question part one uh, video uh, yes that leads to tunneling current on the order of few nano amperes due to energy barrier between two metals which is on the order of the metals work function at small voltage a conventional current cannot flow because the electrons can be described by wave functions you know that uh, decaying exponentially across the energy barrier the probability of finding an electron on the opposite side of the barrier is not zero this phenomenon is known as a quantum mechanical tunneling okay in msc semester 2 physical chem uh, inorganic chemistry i think you uh, study that topic the quantum mechanical tunneling uh, as a consequence electron can flow from yes occupy state in quantum mechanical tunneling those uh, topics are you uh, studied the occupy state the unoccupied state the occupy state on the negative electrodes to unoccupy state of the positive electron where the small voltage they do not change their energy which is described as uh, elastic tunneling a two way of operating the stm scanning tunneling microscopy a uh, constant current mode and a constant height mode uh, already i discussed those two modes in uh, afm also atomic force microscopy i read them the constant current mode the tp scan across the sample surface at a fixed bias voltage and tunneling current is kept constant here some uh, fundas are different in a constant current stm mode the tp scan across the sample surface at a fixed bias voltage that means the uh, voltage applied between the tip and the uh, surface is fixed uh, and the tunneling current is kept constant okay by adjusting the tip in the vertical direction to follow the topographic feature on the surface that is a constant current mode uh, in this method comparatively large and rough sample area can be imaged without destroying the tip of the surface now, there was also a raster uh, scanning is there a feedback system is respond to height changes now for images taken in constant current mode certain bias voltage the term constant current topography cct is used uh, there are two way of operating an stm uh, sorry the i think the data are uh, two time i co copy those datas okay the stm can image in surface of conducting material okay stm can uh, yes uh, uh, the can image surface of conducting materials with atomic scale resolution as i told you earlier when i start that stm uh, those uh, the samples or we can say that the surface must be conducting in nature uh, in that case you can uh, analyze the sample surface with the help of the stm uh, in the constant height mode the vertical position of the tip is kept constant and the varying tunneling current is recorded in this mode. higher scan rates can be achieved okay, so that is the difference between constant current and constant height mode in a constant height mode uh, the height is fixed the tip is fixed and the current is measured okay. tunneling current is measured while in uh, constant current uh, method what happened the tip is movable but the uh, bias voltage is fixed that means the tunneling current is fixed okay then when a tip and a sample are connected with the voltage source a small tunneling current flow between the tip and sample surface uh, this current can be measured whose magnitude depends on the distance between the tip and the surface as the tip is moved lat uh, laterally across the surface a feedback mechanism move the tip up and down to maintain a constant tunneling current okay rastering the tip across the surface therefore produce a topographic map of the surface instrumentation of the stp uh, scanning tunneling microscopy sorry stm uh, you know that the uh, principle and working and all these are depends on scanning uh, two modes that is the tunneling current depends on tunneling current the uh, constant height mode the constant current mode uh, and in instrumentation pose a sharp metal tip is there that is uh, some 
common to AFM, piezoelectric translator to move the tape relative to the sample, control electronics for applying the bias voltage and measuring the tunneling current, feedback system is there uh, to measure the or to keep the tunneling current constant by height adjustment of the tape. Uh, imaging system is also there to convert the single or uh, signal data points into an image. Okay, the tip used for STM should be sharp and stable. Chemical stability can be achieved by using normal uh, metal. Mechanical rigidity can be attained by using short wires. Usually in STM, the position of the metal is fixed and the tip is raster scan. Okay, position of the metal is fixed. The tape is raster scan like an AFM after manual uh, course approach with uh, uh, fine thread screws motion of the tape is performed with the piezo translator made of piezo uh, ceramics okay the piezo translators are made up of ceramics like lead zirconated uh, titanate which can be either a piezo tripod or a single tube scan okay that uh, memorize those uh, datas. Now, the applications of STM similar to AFM. Advantage of STM is the fact that a wide range of scan size from more than 100 micrometer down to atomic level can be covered in one experiment. Uh, because the information is obtained in a, a, a real space, local uh, defects can be investigated. Possibility to obtain spectroscopy information makes the STM very uh, valuable tool for studying surface process on the atomic scale. Uh, however, sorry. However, not only been applied to metals and semiconductors, but also to wide variety of uh, organic biological systems such as thin films on conducting substrate as well as uh, proteins and DNA molecules. A variant of STM like spin polarized that is SPS uh, STM work with a ferromagnetic tip and can be used to probe surface magnetism with high resolution. Okay, that means when a tip is uh, normal tip is replaced with uh, some ferromagnetic material type tip uh, that STM is known as a spin polarized uh, scanning tunnel in microscopy. Other modification of STM involve electromagnetic radiation in which measuring of photons generated in the tunneling cap by inelastic tunneling effect are also known as a photon emission STM, PESTM, photo emission STM, uh, generation of electric current by irradiation of tunneling gap that is known as a photon assisted PASTM. Okay, so uh, these are some more modified technique of STM. If polarized tip is there, ferromagnetic material is there, it is called SPSTM. If photons generated with a source, electromagnetic source are there between the tunneling gap, uh, that is called the scanning uh, photo electron scanning tunneling microscopy, photo assisted PASTM is also there. Uh, must remember the full form of those uh, uh, techniques. That is the diagram of STM, that is the tunneling image here. Okay, that is the sample surface, that is the tip, the cantilever tip is there, that is a bias current, that means by which uh, that is the whole, uh, 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 that is the uh, electronics, okay, with the help of which we can uh, easily uh, provide some voltage between the sample surface and tip so that tunneling current is produced between here that is the piezoelectric uh, uh, tripods that uh, piezoelectric tripods uh, summarize those data uh, recorded here okay that is the uh, magnifying portion of that tip and the sample surface uh, the x-ray ra raster scanning is there that is in chat direction the uh, tunneling image is recorded here okay x direction y direction and in upon chat direction the image is recorded so that is uh, diagram of STM okay so that's all about uh, uh, today's uh, session okay as you know that in unit 4 microscopic techniques so in part 1 I discuss with you short question in part 2 I discuss with you SAM and EPM and in this portion in part 3 I discuss with you uh, scanning tunnel in microscopy and the AF AFM atomic force microscopy uh, after watching this video if you have uh, doubts in your mind then you uh, feel free to ask me okay in the uh, 
uh, YouTube comment box. You know, thank you for watching.